Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video two in our Winter Animals series. We're using the kit Winter Animals by Victoria Designs. And this is a Sweet Pea Papers project. Um, this should be published in either the end of 2022 into 2023 or 2023. Um, yeah, 2023 because Winter Fairies is coming first. Um, so this is probably going to be the end of January, beginning of February. I'm so confused. I film way too far ahead. This is uh, December 12th. <laughs> so in video one, we went over the kit real quick because Victoria Designs has flipped throughs of their full kits. And then we um, put our little book together, which I've changed, um, of course. And I've added... And we're going to see how it goes. But instead of one white paper uh, sprayed with the sparkly, I have, a, I don't know why I did that. Um, we have two. I put in two. And then our next card paper, you know, cardstock paper. And then this is our center spread. Okay, so today we're going to be doing page three. Why don't I have these numbered? I don't know. And I should number these, but um, I think I'll name them something else. <laughs> something else. Like P1 for paper one. But I can't because we're not going to fill the whole paper with um, things. So we're going to do page three and I'm hoping that this will work. I haven't made one of these in a long time and um, yeah and so hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun doing it too. So page three is going to be a hidden writing spot and I found this really cool stencil I don't know if you can see it or not. I've used it once on one of our writing cards. But it's a deer, and the outline of the deer has, has trees in the bottom. And it's very neat. And I used our uh, weathered wood to make the stencil, even though I could have gone in and made the deer brown and the trees green up here. Yeah. So this is going to be our paper for this page, which is just a white piece of cardstock. Okay, then we're going to use um, this over the top of it, but first we're going to cut some off of the bottom. I said a half an inch, but I'm not sure that may be too much. Hmm. I really just want it to be in the snow. So it looks like it's going to be three eighths is awful small. Let's see what we can do. Something in between. Okay. Normally it would be a little bit bigger than this. Um, I probably should have gone ahead and taken part of the fox's tail. So we've got this that fits on here. We're not going to ink the top. I've inked around, just like you ink around the whole page. Now we're going to um, glue the page. Let me put this to the side. We're going to glue the page to this paper as a large pocket. Okay? Open on the bottom. And try to go as close to the edge as you can and make the writing area that, of the uh, card that you're going to put in as large as possible. And this is one of my favorite pages, and I can't believe I haven't done one in a long time. Oops. Right after I say make the card area right as big as possible. <laughs> yeah. So 
So I'm not going to go, I hope everybody's doing good today because everybody says that, but I do hope you're having a good day. Okay, so you got to line this up exactly the same. Because this is now our paper that we're going to glue onto the uh, into the book. Now, why is this not exactly the same size? It should be. I must have cut the white paper off just a little bit. ink this. Okay. Now we're going to make a writing card out of our white sparkly paper. Don't lose this. And this is going to be fairly narrow, which is fine. you some scrap paper of the white paper with the sparkly spray on it if you're using the sparkly spray I don't know if I mentioned it in this series yet or not but the sparkly stuff that I spray on the paper that you can't see but I can see um, is a mixture of a uh, acrylic paint which is um, snow white and titanium white and of just a few drops and then you fill the rest of the little spray bottle like one of those three ounce ones with alcohol and then you shake like crazy and then you um spray it and then you have to shake it every time and the little stem that goes down into the bottle you have to trim it and make sure that it isn't touching the bottom of the bottle at all because if you do the paint will get clogged in it or if it does, the paint will get clogged in it. Okay. Can't believe I got that on the first try. Okay. Well, I said that too soon, didn't I? What's going on? Now we're going to want to cut it off even with the bottom of the paper. You know, I really feel like maybe we should make that just a smidge narrower. So this is our writing card and we're going to take this and we're going to glue this on the bottom but we have to make sure that when we put the card in this lines up with the bottom of the page and that we've got it on right way the right way so you see how that continues the picture, obviously, because we just cut it off. Then we have to make sure when we put the paper in, let's make sure it's the right length. I don't know how it ended up too long.
I mean, if it's a little short, that's fine because it's only going to slide in as far as as far as this piece of paper goes. Yeah, see now it goes way up in there. Okay, so we want it to be even with the bottom of the page. And straight. So it's a little short, but that's okay. Now we're going to glue this piece onto the bottom of the card. So I'm going to make a mark right here on the card. It was a little dark. And then that's where I'm going to glue the piece of paper. Okay. So we're going to glue it all, the whole area here. And you want to glue it pretty good because, you know, you're going to be pulling it in and out by that. Now, the trick is to get it centered correctly. So let's put it back in. I'm pretty sure this is not the way you're supposed to do it, but just dawned on me it might be an easy way. Probably should have just put glue on it while it was in there. I think that's far enough in. And you want to line this back up exactly. And you can see it, probably because it's in white snow and not in a pattern. I've done it where the page was a pattern and uh, it was pinstripes and you couldn't see it at all. So... We'll just call it almost hidden spot. Okay, so then we're going to take the card back out. And if you pull it by the center, you're going to get both the card and the uh, paper. So we want it to dry and make sure it's not stuck to the paper. And I said that wrong. You want to pull it out by this part. So then we're going to take the um, stencil, I think I'm going to put it right here, or am I going to put it right up against there? Hmm, I think I'll put it right up against there actually. I got these little brushes, excuse my marker, um, I got this set of 10 brushes on Amazon for about $10 and they're all different shapes and sizes and they are awesome. They're soft and you can wash them, you can clean them. Um, I just kind of rub it till there's no ink. Okay, so we're just going to ink this and they're great for doing stencils without getting it out over the edge, you know, on a skinny part. So 
So we're just going to stencil this in there. And I could make it more even. Oh, I didn't really mean to do that, though. Probably should have tapped that off. So I did a little extra. I didn't mean to. I meant to do it darker at the bottom and kind of go up to the top a little bit lighter as I went. But, um... That isn't really working, so... <laughs> but you can see how these brushes give you a lot of control. Now, this one's kind of poofed out a little bit because I've been using it on stencils quite a bit. So, you just have to keep that in mind. But before I got these little brushes, I always ended up accidentally leaving a line where the top of the stencil was. I kind of got close there. So look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this stencil. I got it in a pack of 30 of uh, Christmas stencils. And I'm sure you can guess where. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Is there anything I don't get on Amazon? No. Well, I do get AliExpress. And I've been getting stuff from um, Panda Hall and BB Craft and um, Craftspire and a couple others. So you'll be seeing some reviews of their products pretty soon coming up. I don't know how many websites or Facebook groups will allow me to post those because they're promotional, um, even though they're reviews. But um, I will post it as many places as I can. So when you're watching this video, you can always come back to the Sweet Pea Papers YouTube channel and um, catch them there under, uh, I think it's product reviews is what the uh, playlist is. Okay, now, just for fun, just for fun, instead of just having this picture with the writing space, I decided I want to add extra. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut this out here. I should have not done that could have saved the fox for something else. But, cut his tail off now. Anyway, I'm going to cut out these squares. Not individually, but I'm going to cut out the whole thing as one piece. Plus, he cut this out ahead of time, but I don't do a lot of this kind of stuff on camera, so I thought it would be kind of fun to do the extras. Originally, I was going to ink this and add it back to the page, which is something that we're going to do. However, we're going to go the extra step. Which you'll see in just a second. Kind of went off in La La Land while I was cutting. Started the sentence and didn't finish it. I actually like fussy cutting, but, but even with these big fat scissors, 
Um, these arthritis scissors, it still bothers my hands. Now I wonder... Mm -mm. Now we're going to ink this. Forgetting that I moved my glass mat. I mean, not that you don't know how to ink. Kind of made a mess of that. Okay, I'm going to glue it right back over the top. But we're going to glue it on as a belly band, a smaller one. So we're going to glue the bottom across here. And then we're going to glue the top across here. Yes, I realize it's at an angle. It's all right. It'll be all right. Then we want to lay it back right on it. Or do we want to move it over just a smidge? No, I think we want to lay it right on it. How is that not even? That should be even. I cut it even. Yeah, that way they're all over just a little bit. There's a little bit of depth. Okay, so then all I need to do is make a writing card for here, which I didn't think ahead of time to set a piece of paper aside for that. But um, I can use this. kind of funny that looks like it's got a white border on it because of the snow but it doesn't so being page three we can uh, put a tab on here oh I did cut that crooked I knew it looked funny. Okay. 
So we can put, let's see, one, two, three, we can put a tab on this side and another charm, okay? So I will do that. These have been sprayed. Oh, and then I need to show you, go back and show you what I did in the first section. Don't let me forget. Now, I was putting lace on the pages, but I'm not sure exactly where I would put it here. If we put it across the bottom, you never know that it's there. And people will just think it's a belly band page. That rocking around the Christmas tree is still stuck in my head. I think it was when I made the last video earlier in this series. And instead of voices singing, let's be jolly, deck the halls with boughs of holly, in my brain, because I am a sick, sick person, in my brain, it is voices screaming, let's be jolly, you know, like, like, you will be jolly or bad things will happen to you. <laughs> and so now, once I thought that once, and I don't know why I did, now it's stuck in my head that way, and... And the other song that's stuck in my head is Little Bunny Foo Foo. Now, I was chatting with my friends. One of them started humming that song, and it stuck in my head. And then we decided we should look up the lyrics because we're children. Um, and so we did that. And it was hysterical because there were parts of it that we all thought it said something different. And then we saw the words and we were like, hmm. I should have inked this before I put the tab on, but I forgot. Now, I'll go back and stencil this with that, either the deer stencil, the uh, pine tree stencil, the... Um, snow stencil or the pine cone and pine branch stencil. I'm not sure which one. I'm going to alternate them throughout the book. So they're not all going to be the deer, even though I really like the deer. So I'll ink the back when I stencil the back. Oh, I want to. Now, it looks like in this book, all the charms are going to face the front. Or the eyelets. I'm not sure why. I mean, that's fine on this one. But... That first one, it made it look backwards on the page. But you can only do it one way, either way. So it's either going to be front, frontwards on the page and backwards when you look at the book itself in total. Or it's going to be right side on the page and backwards. Some of them will be backwards when you look at the actual book. So I think I'm going to go for right way forward when you're looking at the book from the front, from page one. I 
and I only have a couple silver charms. I'm putting um, these snowflakes, which these two are the same. Oh, I have to show you the first part and the first one. Um, but they're temporary. I've got some um, deer and moose silver ones on order. They were only six dollars. Was this kit that was expensive? If you really want to know. So that would make these two charms the same, which. Unless I was able to do all of them the same, I wouldn't normally do. Or all of them, maybe two different charms, which is, I believe, what I did in Winter Fairies, the series right before this one. So this will go in here. Nice. And we will uh, label this because I'm not gluing them in the book yet just in case something's too thick or I make one the wrong way accidentally which I did in uh, Winter Fairies I made it a left-handed page with the charm you know and it was had to be a right-handed page so I had to move a couple around um, let's see signature one video two page three um, right. Okay, so then we'll get our little book out. What we've made so far. Um, I did show you part of it, but I didn't show you all of it. Where's the rest of it? So I added lace. When you open it up, I added the belly band card. There's the pine cone um, stencil. There's I added the long card, and it's got the deer stencil. And I added the white, the wide writing card with the um, tab and the charm. Then on the home or the front page, the home page. Yeah, it's a website on the home page. I added um, these two words, and underneath the words, I added eyelash trim, and I discovered I was going to make it to where it kind of had fringy all the way around, but I discovered that like your eyelashes, eyelash trim only goes one way off of the little string that it's on. So it doesn't really go, even though it kind of looks like it does at first, when you go to glue it down, it really will kind of glue down all the same way facing the same direction. So what I did was I made it look like icicles. I just decided to make them all make them all face towards the bottom and I'm going to be doing that throughout the book. I decided against at least for now putting the eyelash trim down the center here uh, but I'm still thinking about it. Okay so that's that. So let's put this in here paper clip it in into its into its potential home and then four is going to be a fussy cut as well paper clipped it to the wrong thing it's because I put the two papers in So four and five are the center of the signature. And do I have four and five ready? No, I have four. So on this one, I've inked the paper.
This is our writing card. Then we're going to do something similar to the um, what we did on the page before, except we're going to make it an uptuck. And we're not going to use the whole page. We're going to forfeit the owl and the wolf, but we're going to save it. Yes, we're going to save it this time instead of... And we're going to cut across. You know what I mean? We're not going to... Was he cut? Oh, maybe I could. <laughs> oh, maybe I could. There's several pages like this, and I'm thinking we're going to have to cut most of them apart or do something to um, use them. I'll fix it when I get it. I can't believe I'm having difficulty cutting in a straight line. Especially because it isn't very far. Seriously? Okay, and then we'll save this. Especially because of the little little mouse, the little field mouse. Okay, so then we're going to have to ink this. And then on the next page, we're going to make an opposing pocket with a different picture. But it'll come uh, from the uh, bottom facing this way. So it will look like it goes like that. So then we're just going to glue this as an uptuck. And by an uptuck, I mean a tuck where you push the card up in there. You just shove it up in there. <laughs> so we're going to glue the two long, the two long sides. Or in this side, the longish side. The 90 degree angle side. You just have to make sure to not stick your card up in there too soon and get it stuck in the corner when as the glue is drying. Oh, well, that's nice with the owl looking out right there. Okay. So 
and then we're going to take our card. I'm pretty sure you know where we're going with this one. Now, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to cut the blue off and then reevaluate where I'm at. And the, obviously, I think the white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me do that first. Actually, I think I'll cut the top off and save the snow. And I forgot to measure, so I just cut a random amount off the top, and we'll just have to check it and see. And I'm thinking about going around and fussy cutting around the paper to look at, make it look more like parchment. Okay, that should be fine, that size. So then I'll ink it and I'll stencil it. And that will be the page. I'll probably stencil it on the front. Um, maybe a pine tree that looks like it's sitting on the snow. This goes in the top. This is like a branch with flowers that look like snowflakes. I could do this, but I don't want to keep doing it on every page, so I think I'll do the tree. Okay? If you want, um, maybe I'll look up the uh, link to these stencils. Uh, there's a bunch of them that are like Ho 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 and Elves and you know what I mean? All those kind of Christmas ones too. There's 30 stencils in the kit or the package, whatever you want to call it. So that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next video, and that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.